So Life Force, the book, is really a labour of love. I started working on the paintings in late 2019 and the idea for a book came to me in 2020. And then I carried on working on the paintings all the way through the beginning of this year, 2021. And the idea took a while to crystallise. The idea for the book came somewhere in there. And then I just thought this would be the perfect way to show these paintings. If I show them in an exhibition, which would be nice, I can't show them in context. I can't stand there and explain to you what the poems mean to me. And although I do believe art should stand alone, I also think that in this case, the art cannot stand purely alone because the art is about the poetry. And so it needs the poetry. And it needs also, it's not just about the poetry. So even if I exhibit the paintings and got permission to exhibit the poems, I can't show you what that means to me, which is also part of the painting. So the paintings are about my love of Ted Hughes's poetry. They're about the poetry. They're about the Yorkshire landscape that we both share. And all of that is in the paintings and I need to be able to tell you all of that. And once the idea for the book crystallized, then I realized I wanted it to be more than just a book about the paintings. I wanted it to be the whole story. I really wanted it to be about my process. Every artist has their own way of working. I don't always know what I'm doing, <laughs> by which I mean, I let my intuition guide my compositions and color choices and how many paintings there are going to be and what size there are gonna be. I literally just follow little mental nudges. And somewhere along the way, and in this case, it was really close to the end, I get the, the overall picture, what it is I'm trying to communicate, why I'm even doing this. But often I find my intuition knows more than my mind does. And so I just have to follow that. And then my mind will catch up and explain to me what's going on. So while I knew the book was about the poetry of Ted Hughes, I didn't exactly know why. Why this poet? I don't even read poetry. Why these poems? Why have they stayed with me from the age of 15 on? Why am I still interested in these words? And it was that discovery that took me the two years of painting to get to. And this is the thing about painting. It leads you to who you are. The book itself is beautiful. The publisher is Bird Eye Books, an imprint of Graphic. And um, they've done a beautiful job of the design. I'm really thrilled with it. So the way the book is structured, you come with me through the whole project. We begin at the beginning with the idea. We move through sketches. We go out on walks together in the Yorkshire countryside. I show you the inside of my sketchbooks, which is usually very privileged information. And you see me then as I begin early studies and working out color palettes, working out marks, working out compositions, trying to figure out what will be the visual language that will communicate the essence of these poems while at the same time trying to figure out what actually is the essence of these poems that is so exciting to me. You'll also come with me as I try and understand my interest by looking at the man, by looking at the landscape and ultimately then by returning to the poems. And finally then we get to the exhibition part of the book which is how I think of it where there are 34 beautifully reproduced paintings, each one with its own little story, often accompanied by a quote from a Hughes poem and also accompanied by my explanation of why that poem resonated with me or why this particular place means so much to me. I think of the text and the paintings as the art. I don't think of it just as the painting. This was intended to be a book. And so the, the, the way it's presented in the book is the way I want it presented. The paper's beautiful and thick. It's just, it's just a lovely object. I'm really proud of it. And I can't wait to get it out into people's hands. Hughes has already chosen the perfect words to describe what he's trying to say. He's already done it. And now here I come and I want to do it visually. And finding the visual language for that was was quite a long process of experimentation, 
colour palettes shifted throughout the painting process. One of the ones that really did not want to come along easily is called Wind. The poem is called Wind. It's a beautiful, powerful description of a storm up here in the Pennine Hills where I live. And I wanted to get that feeling, but I couldn't. And I tried and tried and trying is always the problem for me. The painting came about one day when I was just really in flow. I had built up layer after layer after layer on this piece and not got anywhere. And then just in one session where I really tapped into that feeling, it just came together and the painting wind came to be born. And I love it so much. I made a series of three paintings about a poem called Pibrock. He describes nature and its own relenting ongoingness and he describes the aeons passing by where nothing changes nothing happens and then he ends with this is where all the stars bow down and that phrase this is where all the stars bow down so it's there's beauty in this in this ongoingness boringness repetitiveness it's not boring it's beautiful it's amazing and it, the poem really makes me remember to stop and look and think. And in the paintings, I wanted to get some of that sense of timelessness and history, but also beauty and light, a rugged beauty. And so in the paintings I made for Pibrock, it really was about building up layers of textures and history, but also using colour to create beautiful contrasts and, and just bring in a real lovely sense of that feeling of this is where all the stars bow down. All in all, there are 34 paintings and they're all different sizes. The largest one is the last painting I made. It's called Life Force. And that painting was such a joy to make. Some paintings just take a long time. This one took quite a few layers, but each layer just flowed and the whole thing just came together so beautifully. And it came together so beautifully, just as the idea for the book and the reason I was doing all this coalesced. I can't tell you that because that would be a spoiler. You're going to need to read the book. But the book culminates with the, the idea of life force and with this painting. And I just love it so much. I'm very excited for October the 7th when the book's released and to be able to share it with everybody. If you're watching this in July... 2021, you can still pick up a signed copy by going to my website, louisefletcherart.com backslash book. You can still order yourself, pre-order yourself a signed copy. If you would rather wait until the book's released, it will be for sale online on Amazon in the UK and with, I believe, Book Depository around the world. But it will be for sale around the world in October. But if you want your very own signed copy, extremely limited, you can get that now. louisefletcherart.com backslash book. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon. <laughs>